The Quantum Realm Matrix Cube Can deleting a computer file really destroy all that is put into the trash completely from ever existing again? No. Although it may be totally removed on the surface, it is not totally removed from the computer. And even if one were to destroy the hard drive, those files could still be recovered. You live in and are energy, and energy never dies. Likewise, everything created is from energy and so it is never truly lost. Via technology such as the chronoscope for example, the past can be made viewable for all to see. This is another reason why no deed goes truly unnoticed. This construct can be manipulated, and has been for a very long time. What's really being hidden from you is that you are living inside a bubble floating in water which you call space. In space, the bubble, like a black hole, can be seen to resemble an eye. The universes consist of bubbles floating in a pond of a very dense water, which like fish breath air we call water, we breath water we call air, which gives the appearance of it floating in space, when it is in fact stuck in place. Within these etheric bubbles are life, as the substance of the bubbles came forth from the waters of thought, as an accumulation of thought energy, a bubble, which being created from the potential of the field which is the waters that surround it. Therefore, it breeds life in this pond, our universe. You see, from the waters of existence, the potential existing within unformatted energy, arises an accumulation via frequency combination and wave congregations which unite to form awareness. This awareness is first aware that it is aware, then from whence it came. It is total knowledge of self. All the information, knowledge or potential to create is vested from the chaos, the wavy frequency of water formed thought of which it emerged. Like a flame from a bolt of energy or lightning, sporadic, sporadic. Spirit I see, a thought which burst to life within the wavy water of itself and formed the universe. The first thought, Aradia, the thought. Perceived as light and sound upon the waters of the deep. The bubble forms forth from the wavy vibrations of the water of thought, outwards and like rings from a drop of water. There are dimensions within each of them, though some bubbles may contain many more depending on the size of their universe or bubble they all send the ripple back that matches its frequency or dissolves it altogether. The strongest thought, or wave that bounces back to its center, it holds the limits or knowledge of the entire universe, this bubble, within it. The bubble now floats in the waters of chaos and the thought controls its environment, this universe. You can recreate a sun inside a bottle of water. This sun created within the waters of this bubble is that which gives life to the human form and all top dwellers of soil deposits known as planets. Life is able to survive in this bubble and it is from this that the study of your universe began. At the lower dimension of this bubble, exist Earth, yet it exists on the highest level also, but at a different pitch or frequency. In this dimension, the sky above is a mechanical electrical grid conformed and formatted by the minds under it. North, south, east or west, all are under it. It is a bubble. You are in the middle. Well below the dividing line of chaos yet in the realm of spirit. You are earth-bound souls as your bodies were formed within this bubble and one soul finds itself on this realm of earth. Many, many, many lifespans ago, man discovered the water, the wave, the field, and saw it as holy. A technology of their own thinking that is programmable. They observed as the universe field responded to what they wanted and knew that it governs the existence of life as a loving father and they its offspring so long as the soul recognizes and maintains the connection to all existence, which is itself and does not fall in thought, allowing the formatted energy body of the mind to escape chaos and live as a spirit and a soul. They would find the biggest tree and pray under it as a programmable extension to reach all, a transmitting utility, a tower by becoming one with the mycelium of thought projection, floating on the fauna, the essences of life, and connecting with the earth, barefoot, with our fleshly natured father, the soil, and paying reverence to our mother nature, the nature who gives suck, as her waters moisten and gives life to the offspring, the life it has created in union with the earth, within the bubble as the fractal of formatted existence. They kept, keep the divine consciousness of the earth by grouping in various places in the world in groups of only twelve, and their mediation and atonement to the field thus programming the consciousness of the earth-bound souls, and in those times, all were, are at peace. This is in the divine heights of thinking. Yet, because our bubble moves ever so slowly, we slowly enter into a new position of frequencies as chaos energy pushes against this bubble. It slowly revolves the worlds around in very long periods of time, like a wheel slowly spinning in space. During these times, life is subtly shifted as the energy enters into a new frequency pattern, 
and the quantum entangled soul portion is slowly merged to match that frequency. It attunes, atones to the new frequency without notice and only viewable to the senses. These frequency shifts have different effects upon the life within it. Because soul is present in every moment, soul moves all at once, you are only captured in moments of time. At every moment or wave frequency exists a soul portion of you. Portion, meaning a portion of your quantum soul that is living also on other timelines yet observed on this present one that you are experiencing. And when your awareness of your surroundings are heightened, they will show to you not only the timeline you are in but also what timeline, stream, you are in. This is water. A timeline, stream, is a timeline very similar to the last timeline you have memory of yet different to the observing eye, yet similar to the last one with minor differences. An example of a timeline stream is like waking up to another family member for example, one who died before or after birth on another timeline, or things that you don't recall having, people who know you but you don't know them, etc. You are on a different parallel timeline stream. While in this stream you will notice other big differences as well, related to this new stream. You are living and observing on every parallel, whether you, this soul portion of your quantum self has memory of it or not. This is just reality. Virtual reality. Terence Howard just discovered it he's not the creator of it. In this sense, this earth within this universe is a program, and Aradia created the program as the last step of a ladder, the last step before soul enters the utter depths of the waters or outer darkness. This is why at departure, the soul can see all of its lives within the bubble forward and backwards throughout all timelines as moments, the smallest measure of time. It merges with the field and becomes one with it and at the same time, individuated. The time period the soul is presently in is the evidence of its thinking, and the enlightened mind knows that to see it is to believe it, as discovery is the passion of the soul, and one's present moment is shown in the timeline, it is observing and acting therein, as it lives in every moment in parallel to every thought, and in every age, within the bubble, and knows that it is thought form thinking that takes you to where you as soul energy places yourself at any given moment. You are God. Watch your thoughts. Craft have been designed from the materials of the inner bubble and on different dimensions within it also, that can pairs at very high speeds, through the waters outside of the different dimensions within the bubble, though they are confined to the bubble as a whole also. Unless those with wealth develop in technology to enter into other universes via the mycelium of existence, by creating vortexes within the water to open a pathway for the space traveler, the only entry into other universes are in the mind, the spirit realm. The bubble keeps trapped the energy in its bubble in the form of fractal energy. The bubble can explode from the inside out and cause a collapse of the universe into either a smaller universe, reducing the vapor canopy, or even much smaller planets with their own forms of life. None can escape the creation of the water, in the water, that wavy frequency which moves this planet bubble within its larger body. It is matter that is the marvel within it, its own creation, a marble, pushed about in the deep by the forces of chaos. This is why of fire where you manifested as the garb of electricity is the first form of concentrated energy forming thought processes which ignite in all minds as a spark within the mycelium network of the brain. Material or not. It is the first garb formed by your creative thought formed self, forming light by the union of one's will to the thought which perceives, therefore, although very light in perception, it gives mass to free flowing weightless energy from whence it materially formed. This first fire is a blinding light, as soft as a gentle breeze yet unbearable to the material eyes. The more dense it becomes the more mass it takes on, and the light becomes more bearable, and soon the light is covered by the nature it evolves as flesh. This mass of light energy is so compacted in the lower manifestations of life, that is a fire which burns from within, keeping the body warm from the inside. This heat creates life by touching the ethers, burning other thought forms thus, forming from their union, bacteria which unite with other thought forms to create life. Thought, spiritually and mentally, ignited a spark of imagination and contemplation, and as other thought-provoking thoughts created sparks of light, they came together to create that aha moment of realization, creating greater heat that expands the bubble and thus makes room, that as gas, merges with other ideas and a universe is born. This is why each bubble is but a display of the programmed thought of its making, in whole, and or in part. As such, each creation within it, of it, are only thoughts of the creator materializing from individual versions of thought bubbles born of light. There are endless universes, each with their own creator, created from the water, from which they formed from the fires of thought pooled within the waters. 
The field or potential has always been and always will be. It is thought that comes to realize from whence it came, of which it is. I and the Father are one. The programming of this earth, this cube, this moment, this pixel within this universe is now being run by the lower self in man. Universe, from uni meaning single, one. And verse from moment, hence, one moment, one part, one verse, universe. If there were no other verses, then why label this a universe? Why not name it, the isness, as it just is? Because zero implies none yet zero cannot be none as we can see zero, so it is something, it just is. And this is the snake eating its tail. The never-ending spiral, the fractal of existence. So there are more universes unto themselves. We are in one verse in the waters of existence. My apologies for bursting your bubble. As I said before, you, me, them, they, can all choose to come together as one unit to effect a change to the grid of this energy matrix and guide it in the direction of new thought, holistic thought, unity thought, oneness thought. By doing this, you will not actually be moving the direction of this present timeline, as it has its destiny, but you would instead be moving the ethers of your thoughts and bringing your soul and others into alignment with that timeline imagined by vibrations and frequencies. Therefore, opening the potential, the waters of your thoughts, allowing for your soul and others to shift to higher realms of existence as soul. Nothing in nature is flat. It all comes from the circle. And this is why ones go round and round in circles trying to figure it out, and one can only conclude that which is understood. There are also those thoughts who have escaped the fleshly suit and are seen in the radiance they hold in relation to the assignment they have upon the material worlds. Look at the world your soul has inherited right now. See it for what it truly is and ask yourself, is this the return station you seek for your soul upon death of the flesh? By accepting or ignoring the things you feel you can't change, you are at the same time attuning to those frequencies on a subconscious level when not holding the thoughts of the higher self to esteem. This is why the powers that be need to keep ones in a state of constant motion, fear, and all the vices of the lower self, for if man had time to invest in himself, he may discover and spread light to others. And their cell towers could no longer influence the minds of the cell phone holders, the prison cells would become empty, because on the cellular level, man would come to love instead of hate, and all would be at peace. No. This is their world. And this is evidenced by the way in which it is and has been going and you have no control over it as long as you are inactive. And, during those inactive times, they provide you with entertainment, to lull the sleeping mind even further away from what really matters. Who you are as soul. They have enacted laws which prohibit you from speaking out unless they agree to it at a particular time and place. Their force claims they're just doing their job as though that's an excuse not to live in harmony to the divine plan. Like as if in the end of life, that reasoning will be enough for the God they say they love and worship to pardon them. No, the God they follow in their hearts will not pardon them, as misery seeks company. These ones are the Hittantes, the hell-bound. For their hearts have turned to stone. And when their souls reach their next destination, they will wish they had come back as a stone, as then they could have had a little rest. Don't be a Hittante. There is no light at the end of that rainbow. Only eternal darkness. And only a radia. The thought, can send a soul into it. Yet it cannot deliver it from it, as it is its own water, the water of chaos which has its own chaotic rulers. Stay tuned to this next series of videos, as I reveal a truth that should shake the knowledge of the foundation of this country called America. And expose the lie all have been living under. Thank you who have subscribed. It helps to reach more people. Uh, Heil, AAM.